Hello, my name is Yulia and welcome to this vlog. <laughs> I knew someone once who helped me understand commitment and the responsibilities and the risks. So I watched Lock and Key over these few days, season two, and it's an amazing show. I love it so much. It kind of gives me, it's a mix of like Narnia, Stranger Things, and a kind of spooky horror house film, which sounds pretty great. And it's about this family that moves into this old timey house, this magical villa, and discovers something magical there. And it's bit mainly about the mum and the three kids and they have all these adventures. And I adored season one, loved season two. I was so into it. I don't know why, but it's a kind of show where you just like everyone and you root for everyone. And it has a kind of magical feel you want in these kind of shows. It's not too scary. I read a tweet that said, Lock and Key's Doctor Who scary. So it's not really scary, but it's a bit eerie. A bit creamy. Two of my best friends were watching it with me not together because we all live in different cities so we were all like texting oh my god I'm at this and this scene and this just happened so it was a riveting experience I had a great time Filmed these clips, I was reading the book Sunset by Jesse Cave. Boy oh boy, it makes you feel. So I'm a huge Jesse Cave fan. She kind of most famously played Lavender Brown in Harry Potter. Uh, speaking of which, I bought this pullover because it felt like something a Hogwarts student would wear. 
like kind of old fashioned, could be self knitted. So, but I love it. Um, Jessie Cave is many things. She's a writer, comedian, actress, she's an illustrator, and I've just been a huge fan forever. She has a YouTube channel where she used to do sketches. Um, then she had this kind of vlog style where she kind of did a monologue, I think. And now she does like a podcast with her sister, BB Cave, who's also very, very cool. What I really like about them is that they're so honest and real and every kind of flaw they have whereby they can be bitchy or they can be rude or they can have a bad day they just openly talk about it and deal with it and are like too ashamed i feel like all my life i've been kind of hiding negative sides of myself people in my life would disagree but um to kind of seem perfect and kind and fun and nice and ah Yulia so unproblematic. What's in my head? Very dark thoughts. I hate everyone. I'm kidding. No, I don't. But it just feels like their conversations are so real and raw. I, I sound like a women's magazine, real and raw. And But they are just so, it's so refreshing. And they're kind of negative and I love it. I, I, I need it in my life to just see. You can be negative sometimes and that's okay. The Book Sunset is Jessie Cave's debut fiction novel and it's about two sisters, Hannah and Ruth, kind of based on the relationship she has with her sister, but not fully, like it's just the ideas kind of from their relationship. And one of the sisters dies and the book follows the younger sister Ruth and how she's dealing with the death of her sister throughout a year basically and it is devastating you have the scenes in the past you have what's happening now and kind of the accident what led to the sister's death and it is heartbreaking but so beautiful i think it's ah oh, such a good read and i listened to the audiobook so you had um jesse cave's sister bb narrate it and it was so fantastic and the characters just feel real and beautiful and the only thing I think it didn't need for me, there was kind of a romantic aspect to the whole thing, which was fine. I think some people would have probably found the book to be a bit maybe more boring without it, but I think they didn't need that aspect. They could have just made it about the relationship between the sisters, but it's a fantastic read, but I do recommend reading it when you're in a good headspace and not emotionally fragile, overwhelmed, that kind of thing. So, because it has, well, it's basically a book about grief and death, which can be a bit tough. If you can read it, read it, it's fantastic. I ah, loved it very much. Thank you for watching my video, my vlog. I hope you could relax, had a good time, and I'll see you soon. Bye.